suburbs. A lot of Jeep owners know the term trail rated, but this one has the first ever desert badge. Yeah, so the Jeep brand is absolutely on fire. Uh, the Mojave, this is desert rated, the first ever uh, desert rated vehicle um, here, right here at the Chicago Auto Show. And this is a world premiere. It's a world premiere. So the Chicagoans are getting a first look at it. Um, it is it is the most capable Jeep ever made. That's unbelievable. And a lot of Jeep off-road lovers are going to love the new suspension, the shocks. Right. So this Jeep has been tested in the desert under all the elements, wind, rain, all of it. And it can go at high speeds through the sand. It's very capable. Um, They've raised the bar once again. I think we're ready for a beach trip. What do you say? Sounds good. All right, let's go. Well, there you have it, J.C. Phelan. Thanks for joining us tonight. So here we go. I'm ready for a beach trip. But now I think we're ready to go over to the ABC7 booth where Val and Ryan are. Take it away, guys. Hey, Tracy, you're exactly right. ABC7 has its own booth here. Uh, this is really a highlight for our city, and it's for us, too, because we get to check out the latest and greatest vehicles. Anything uh, standing out for you? Oh, man, a couple of things <laughs> have caught my eye, Ryan, but that's the beauty of the Chicago Auto Show. There are so many other fun attractions that bring people out to the Chicago Auto Show each and every year. But you know what? We did get a chance to crisscross the Auto Show floor and pick out a little bit of our favorites. Yeah, you know, it was tough for me, but I got a chance to experience this thing right here that you're seeing on your screen. This is the Ford Performance Driving Simulator. It's a full motion platform with hydraulics, which means you really get to feel what it's like to race against the clock in a Mustang GT500. And, you know, Ford is known for using similar tech to help their drivers prepare for races. Val, I got that baby up to about 200 miles an hour. Oh, well, check out this baby right here. My favorite is an institution around here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Camp G. When the show opens, right, people run. I, those are Your real face. expressions. <laughs> from the GoPro because I swear I was like, oh my God, is this safe? People run for this one and why not? You hop in a Jeep and basically I'm scaling Camp Jeep Mountain. It's an 18 foot tall ramp with a 35 degree approach and you see my face on those. <laughs> it is really like an indoor roller coaster and now we're going over boulders that were built into the ground just to show you the stability of that Jeep. That Jeep is amazing. You look like Macaulay Culkin in Home Alone. <laughs> it was incredible. Uh, we got a lot of fans out here, right? chance to uh yeah sorry we gotta take a short break thanks for hanging out with us plenty more from the 2020 chicago auto show <laughs> coming up see nissan's new take on a classic pickup truck toyota updates a standout suv and see how some high-tech tools are helping pack plenty of fun into the chicago auto show it's all still to come on abc7 presents the chicago auto show Hi Chicago, I'm Ginger Z from Good Morning America. To everyone browsing the new cars at the Chicago Auto Show tonight, these are the nominees for Best of Show, Best All New Production Vehicle. place is Autobahn Country Club. The name sort of says it all. We're primarily a private motorsports club. But five times a year, Napleton Porsche Westmont rents out this exclusive auto racing club so its Porsche clients can put their supercars to the test. It's a 15-year-old Napleton tradition, all meant to thank their buyers. Other people from Napleton are going to guide you around. Instructors brought in straight from Porsche North America teach the drivers how to wind their way through an auto cross course. The drivers ultimately make their way to the track where they can really push the limits of their supercar. <laughs> the smiles on their face are unbelievable. Even Porsche's professional drivers appreciate what a unique event this is for a dealership to host. This is one of the finest facilities in the country. It's like a country club. We don't play golf, we drive our cars. But what a great opportunity to experience the cars in their uh, natural habitat. One of abc 7s own took part in this special Napleton event to hone his high-octane hobby. You're learning how to take what they've built and use it properly so that you can enjoy it more. 
This unique track experience also helps the Napleton customers feel a little safer out on the open road. Once you can push the limits of the car, you got more confidence when you're on regular streets, way above what ordinary dealerships provide. And for Napleton, happy, loyal customers are really what it's all about. We believe in the brand. We have a great facility. We want to create a relationship that we'll have for a long time. of lots of interactive fun. This is not your parents' auto show. This is really cool. We got the bird's eye view and the front view camera. The 2020 Chicago Auto Show is filled with interactive displays, making your head spin with dreams of what could be. You're actually immersed into this different world through goggles. Okay, I have to remember to steer. I have to remember to downshift. I have to remember to brake. And oh my gosh, it's a good thing this is not a real Porsche. <gasps> One of the great things about the interactive displays on the show floor is, is it gives kids and non-car enthusiasts something else to do. From simulators to test drives. I like that bird's eye view with the parking, so this way you don't tear up your rims. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't have to go get them fixed. <laughs> to sound experiences. Okay, let's see if I am a safe driver. Okay, speed limit's 35. You can't go 35 on these streets, are you kidding me? This is really just like a gaming system. We want to make it fun, but it's really based around our drive safe save app. And based on their safe driving habits, they get up to a 30% discount. Really, State Farm is all about safe driving. There you go, you got them all. Cool. Safe driving, yes. Video racing, not so much. Hit the gas start and make sure you break really, really hard around turns. Okay. That's not good either. Ah! I crashed. Epic. Fail. <laughs> Clearly, I am not a gamer, but that was a lot of fun. Okay, so now we're going to have some rugged fun because we're over at Nissan, and we're going to take a look at the new Frontier pickup truck, and I want to introduce you to Priscilla Melendez, and you're going to tell us more about this, especially all this power under the hood. Yes, well, first of all, welcome to Nissan, and we do have a brand new engine for 2020. You are looking at a brand new 3.8 liter V6, 310 horsepower, which is best in class, and 281 pound-feet of torque, so we're really excited about that on the new Frontier. What is not to like? Pickup's so, so popular, and a a lot of style here too. Exactly. So not a lot of styling changes for our 2020 Frontier, but there's a really good reason why people love the Frontier as it is. It's just the right size. It's known for its outstanding durability and its outstanding value as well. And this is a little sneak peek as to the next generation Frontier. So this will carry on to that next generation Frontier. So stay, stay tuned for that. Oh, very exciting. Thanks for that little tease. 
We'll be looking forward to that. Thank you so much. Well, in the meantime, we are going to check back with Mark, who I think has moved over to Toyota. What's going on there, Mark? Roz, thank you very much. You know, everybody loves SUVs. They want to cross over that drives like a sports car. Toyota has decided to jump in with its Highlander line with its new XSE. Joining me now is Ed Laukis, the uh, group vice president of Toyota North America and a family friend, by the way, I just found out. I'm assuming, Ed, that S in XSE stands for sport. Sport, special edition, whatever you want it to be. XSE is, uh, you know, a, a pretty popular brand with us in Toyota, and we usually use it for special editions. It's really cool. Now, it's always been a neat model, and Highlander is like an iconic nameplate. Why a bumper-to-bumper -bumper makeover this year? Well, we got a completely new new Highlander that came out into the market just now. A Highlander Hybrid we just started building in Princeton, Indiana, and we wanted to build other variants so that people say, hey, Toyota, these are really cool features and things you can add, make it a little sport make it a little more sexy so here we are yeah I would say athletic it's really cool but you know you're gonna be hauling a bunch of kids and they got to plug in all their devices so can you accommodate them so every single time we engineer any vehicle that's family friendly that's always one of the big things because we know the kids love their electronics it's fun bam checks all the boxes yeah. Ed thank you so much hey listen keep your seat belts fastened much more to come stay with us Coming up, Chevy's iconic Corvette gets a total remake that propels it into the ranks of supercars. See why crowds turned out all over the country to get a glimpse and see the luxurious new touches to Chrysler's classic family hauler. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents, the Chicago Auto Show. Experience the Chicago Auto Show for yourself. Just buy your tickets using the official Chicago Auto Show app and have your own virtual tour guide in the palm of your hand. Be sure to download it before you go. Hi, I'm Kelly Ripa. I'm her friend Ryan Seacrest. To all the car buffs checking out the Chicago Auto Show, these are the nominees for Best of Show, Best Green Vehicle. and four-legged military fans to lots of kid-friendly fun and mouth-watering cookout spreads and, of course, cars. There isn't really a better way to spend a nice summer day while you lift up our men and women in uniform. Events such as these played out at neighborhood auto dealers all over Chicago this past July. We are throwing barbecues at over 150 dealerships throughout Chicagoland. We're just thrilled with the partnership that we can incite that kind of enthusiasm and so many hundreds of folks out there doing things to give back. It is all with one goal in mind to give our troops a helping hand by supporting the USO. The USO of Illinois uh, serves over 325,000 service members and their families every year. The USO runs five centers where servicemen and women can relax or enjoy a meal. The USO gave me a place to go away from the base and get out of the military for an hour or two. It is no surprise that some of the most loyal guests at these summer barbecues are veterans who appreciate the important mission of the USO. There's a lot of things to give back to, but I don't know that there's anything better to give back than to the military folks in our society. There is actually a healthy rivalry between our dealerships. I have a bounce house, I have a 50-50 raffle, I have a barbecue, I have a car show. And in Elmhurst, that is exactly what helped to bring out the crowds when the Rusty Lug Nuts Car Club showed off their vintage models at this festive gathering. Local business Businesses stepped up and donated most all of the raffle items here, and all those tickets helped to rack up thousands of dollars all for the USO. The money goes to a good purpose, and I figured GI still need it. I think it's great. Uh, this is the second year that the group has been here, uh, and, and we fully support the military. The dealers combined efforts on all these barbecues over the past summer, managing to raise $146,000, all to help keep the USO's mission going. It's just one more way Chicago's auto dealers rally support for the communities they serve. Welcome back to ABC7's coverage of the Chicago Auto Show, the 2020 version. You know, it's no surprise that SUVs and crossovers are dominating the market. And in keeping with that trend, Chevrolet is going big, folks. And I mean really, really big. With all new versions of both the full-size Tahoe and the Suburban with us to tell us now more about these two vehicles is Maria Fatio and Chevy left nothing untouched, Maria. That's right. Chevrolet created the SUV category in 1935 with the industry's 
longest running nameplate, the Chevrolet Suburban. And you can see behind us the redesign of the 2021 Tahoe and Suburban. It is bold, sculpted, athletic. It has LED headlamps, an extended track and wheelbase, even an available dual exhaust. And when you step inside, you step into an upscale quiet cabin with premium stitching and craftsmanship. Now, one of the things that I've always had a sort of a peccadillo about is the size of an SUV, but these big haulers got big. There's more cargo and passenger space. A lot more space. We have best in class third row leg room at 10 inches longer inside our Tahoe. Mm -hmm. The Tahoe also has best in class cargo capacity behind the third row with a significant increase of 66%, and the Suburban has gained 19% overall with a max cargo capacity of about 145 cubic feet. Again, best in class. And speaking of tech, you guys didn't leave out the safety or the entertainment aspect of it. We took tech to the next level. We have a three-liter Duramax diesel being introduced this fall, which no other competitor currently offers. And inside, you have tools at your fingertips, like a 15-inch head-up display, a 10-inch infotainment system, and available 12.6-inch seat-mounted rear touchscreens that interconnect with the front screens. All told so very well, Maria. Thank you so much for telling us about these two well, beautiful vehicles here today. Now, these SUV folks are big, heavy hitters, right? Now, another Another iconic model is getting a whole lot of play here at the Auto Show and around the world. It's the first ever mid-engine Chevy Corvette. It did not disappoint. And even before the Auto Show began, Chevrolet toured this much-anticipated car, including right here in our own area. The name's been around since 1953. Once you drive one, it just sort of goes right into your soul. After nearly 70 years on the road, the iconic Corvette has never lost its appeal. Nothing looked like a Corvette, and I've always been in love with them. This is the greatest American vehicle created right now. And 2020 marks a massive milestone for the model with the arrival of the Corvette C8 Stingray. Audiences here at the show are getting their first glimpse, but Chevy actually offered exclusive sneak peeks with a cross-country tour. In fact, last fall, the C8 pulled into Hawk Chevrolet in Joliet. It was something that General Motors offered to the elite dealerships that are big Camaro and Corvette sellers, and we're one of the top. There's a line outside when I pulled up here. I couldn't even park my car, and I showed up early, so... <laughs> that rare chance meant a big crowd at Hawk to see this American-made supercar. The biggest change for the iconic model is easily its mid-mounted engine. It just gives a whole different driving experience that brings you to the exotic, the supercar level. Seeing the engine through the glass, pretty cool. Never seen that before. This eighth generation vet boasts zero to 60 miles per hour in three seconds and a price tag starting at 60 grand. I gotcha. It's no surprise gotcha. for vet fans okay. just can't get enough. Instant reaction is wow. Oh, it's phenomenal. Also incredible. It's just jaw dropping. Everyone loves it. It's gorgeous. All I could do is like stare at it. I would drive it out of the showroom right now if I could. You can see this much anticipated supercar for yourself with a visit to the Chevy exhibit right here at the 2020 Chicago Auto Show. I think it's going to be the star. Now, Maria, I already knew this, but this is really the must-see vehicle of the show. It absolutely is. This is arguably the most anticipated Corvette in Corvette's 67-year history. I've been following this for a long time through seven iterations of this, and the C8 is just fantastic. Why do people love just a Corvette? I mean, what's not to love? But this mid-engine Corvette, it features an all-new LT2, 6.2 liter. It has a naturally aspirated V8 engine, the only one in the segment, and it is the the fastest Stingray production vehicle going 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. And this unprecedented performance is starting under $60,000. That's outstanding, Maria. Thank you so much. So, folks, you've seen it. It's amazing. The 2020 Corvette. Let's go over to Chrysler. I'm going to get in the car. <laughs> hey, JR, come down off the space shuttle, will you, buddy? I am over here at Chrysler. And what's the first thing you think of when you think of this automaker? Minivan, right? They created the concept over 35 years ago, continue to pioneer new innovations.
This is the latest entry. Wow. This is the Pacifica Pinnacle. And here to talk about it is my old buddy, Kelly Enright. Kelly, good to see you again. Hi, Mark. Listen, uh, I hate to call this a van because it's so luxurious. It's like a rolling living room, really. It really is. This is our brand new Pinnacle, as you said, which is the highest end luxury. Napa seating on the inside has 97 standard safety features. It is such truly a comfortable ride. It's going to be safe for your family. But we also offer our stow and go seating. So you can put the seats down in both the second and third row. I love the stow and go and the fact that it's an all wheel drive van. I, it's really a great concept. We just announced here at the Chicago Auto Show that we'll be um, offering an all wheel drive version of this minivan later this year. It's great. So you can get that on four different trim levels, including this new Pinnacle. But we also offer a hybrid version. So if you're more green and you're interested in having the capability of both gas and electric, we still offer the hybrid. You know what isn't fair, though? The kids can't really pull anything behind your back in the in the way, way back there fooling around. You have a thing called Fam Cam. Fam Cam. How fun is this? So if you're the driver, um, there's a camera located in the ceiling of the second row that will look directly down, especially if you have a rear-facing car seat. You never really know what that baby might be needing, if he's sleeping or if he's awake. Sure. So this is a camera that will look down upon the passengers in the second row, and it will come on your touch screen right on your radio in the front of the vehicle. Awesome, Cal. Thanks so much, as always. Thank you. All right, let's jump over to our ABC7 booth. Ryan Val are standing by. Hey, Mark, thanks so much. You know, we've shared our highlights of what we love, but you know, everybody out here at the Chicago Auto Show has a favorite. Absolutely. We want to bring in Myron here. We were just chatting with him off camera. You're in the market for a vehicle. What are you looking at? I'm looking at a Subaru Ascent. I love the vehicle. It's very sleek, very nice, and it has all-wheel drive. I really love it. Okay. Well, have you picked out a dream car? Like, is there one car out here? You know it's out of your reach, but you're like, one day, that's the one I want. Uh, a Rolls Royce Cullinan. <laughs> hey, you got good taste. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I when, do. When you get one, get me one, too. All right, Myron? <laughs> want to bring in another uh, auto show attendee. What's your name? Lauren. Lauren, what are you looking at out here? Um, I really liked the new Corvette. So. <laughs> you and my father. <laughs> yes, yes. I mean, in reality, a Honda Odyssey would be nice, but. Yeah. I mean, the Corvette. Hey, why not, right? Oh, forget about that Odyssey. What color do you want that Corvette? <laughs> oh, blue. 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 Yeah. You didn't like that orange one? It's kind of nice. Uh, I don't know. I'm in the blue. I like the blue. Yeah. yeah. The blue. Yeah. <laughs> all right. What do you think the best thing about uh, coming out to the auto show is every year? Um, seeing all the different cars. There's, it's a very big family event. They have a lot to offer, a lot of things to do. Um, I really like the Subaru. Like, the fact that they did uh, promote the national parks. What do you find fun at the auto show? Mm, the Lamborghini. Oh, the Lamborghini. And how old are you? Seven, eight. You're eight. So do you know how much a Lamborghini costs? A million dollars. A million dollars. So when you grow up and make a million dollars, what color are you going to get your Lamborghini? Blue. Blue. What's the best thing about the Chicago Auto Show? Mm, that you can look at the cars. That you can look at the cars. What's your name? Nolan. Nolan, thank you so much, Nolan. Hope you're having a blast at the auto show. show. I tell you what, for all ages, enjoy the auto show. And guess what? We can all dream. <laughs> We're going to have more from the 2020 Chicago Auto Show. Stick around. Coming up, get a glitzy sneak peek of the nation's biggest auto show. Jaguar refreshes a classic roadster. Then, see how to take a test drive direct from your driveway. It's all still to come on ABC7 Presents the Chicago Auto Show. Hello, Chicago Auto Show. I'm Jimmy Kimmel. This is Guillermo. We love cars. We've even driven them, which makes us the perfect duo to present the next award. Here are the nominees for best concept vehicle. Where? What? I mean, cars. Chicago Auto Show is the absolute perfect place for visuals. Like posting the Ford GT on Instagram, we're going to get a ton of likes on that. People want to share what they're passionate about. They want to share those pictures. I think it's just a really good place to, to get creative with what you're doing with your phone. 
I'm really excited to see the new Corvette. I think I'm definitely the first amongst my friends to see it, so I can't wait to put this picture online and get a little bragging rights for that. We deploy a social squad, so you will see them walking around with enlarged Instagram frames, and they're actually rewarding you for posting your Instagram pictures, so use hashtag CAS2020 and win prizes all show long. The Buzz Hub is a designated social media space on the show floor. You can get by-the-minute updates on what is going on live from the show floor. We also have a great Twitter feed that gives minute-by-minute -minute updates on where people can park. So if you just engage with the show, whether that's through our mobile app or through social media, we can help you out. We added a Chicago Auto Show app to help attendees get the most out of the Chicago Auto Show. Not only can they get a $3 discount on an adult ticket, but they also can see all the vehicles on display. They can see the show floor map. It even includes a list of all the interactive displays that you can do and even has a schedule of events so people can see what time their favorite celebrity might be at the auto show. The My Garage feature on the app, I'm able to add all the cars that we like at the auto show and we can look at them again when we get home. It's really a tradition in Chicago for a lot of families, and we love to hear those messages on social media, people sharing their fun at the show. This is our first time actually to the auto show. It's a great father-son day out. We've been playing like video games the whole entire time and looking at cars going in them, it's just been amazing. Chicago Auto Show right here on ABC7 where there are 1,000 sparkling new vehicles, four indoor test tracks, outdoor test drives, and lots of excitement on this opening day. And all of the crowds are here to enjoy one of the great, really the greatest auto show in the country. And you know, there is a way you can actually get a sneak peek while you sample some of Chicago's best foods. And the proceeds go to lots of great causes. Put on your tux or ball gown. <laughs> Bring your appetite. <laughs> your dancing shoes. And be the first to see the stars of the Chicago Auto Show. First Look for Charity is the annual kickoff for the Chicago Auto Show. You see everything that the public's going to see the next day, uh, the night before, and a lot of great food and beverages on the show floor as well, so it's, a, it's really a great evening. Guests walk among a million square feet of new vehicles, all while they sample food and drinks from more than 20 local restaurants. They're walking around Champagne, they're tasting all the great food from Chicago, the great restaurants that are there. Uh, and they can walk wherever they want to look at vehicles, take pictures. There's so much stuff that they can do. It's a red carpet event, just like it is in Hollywood. 70,000 pieces are going out just for the gala. We're going to start off on the uh, belt, and we're, we're going to run the petite tarts, which is a soft brie and cranberry and a savory tart. We're going to run close to 10,000 on these. The hard work is worthwhile because all of the proceeds go to local charities. It's a great, great cause and a great function, so I think it's important for the community to do stuff like this. We have 18 charities that we raise money for. Over the past 29 years, we've raised over $50 million. Charities like the JDRF. A fabulous evening. So, cocktails, food, playing with cars, all sorts of events, and hopefully a chance to see all the nonprofits in Chicago and the work that we're doing. And one lucky guest goes home with what else? A brand new car. As one of Chicago's largest single-day fundraisers comes to a close, the real winners are the charities. Tonight was fantastic. We were able to raise over $2.8 million for 18 local charities. The people of Chicago showed what, they're, what they can do, and we are so very proud of what they've done. Thank you, Tracy. We've moved over to Honda, and we're talking about a model vehicle that is, wow, it has been in production longer than, than anyone else that you can think of. More than 40 years for the Honda Civic, right? 40 years. Okay, so let's introduce you to Kevin Keith from Honda, from Brilliance Honda Subaru, to tell us more about this sporty Civic. Very sporty. Uh, this is the fastest production front-wheel drive vehicle in the world. This is a new color for Honda this year. It's the Boost Pearl, which is an absolute head-turner. They also
also made uh, a nice redesign with the front brakes for a two-piece rotor system. They opened up the front grille so they bring a little more air in to cool off that engine. It's a hot car. Yeah, I was going to say, I love that color, but it's very powerful, too. A lot of power under the hood. It's got a four-cylinder turbocharged engine with 306 horsepower. This thing moves. And it is so sleek and beautiful. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Okay, we're going to head back over to Tracy, and I guess you've moved over to Jaguar. Thank you, Roz. Well, you know, Jaguar has a nearly 100-year history of rolling out luxury sedans and really beautiful sports cars. Well, they remain on the cutting edge with high-performance roadsters like the F-Type. So joining me now to talk more about the makeover of this gorgeous sports car is head of product planning, Rob Filokovic. Thanks for joining me. Wonderful to have you here. Well, I'll tell you what, muscular on the outside, but luxurious on the inside. Absolutely. Um, when it first launched, uh, F-Type won the World Car Design of the Year, and we're pretty sure that this one takes it to another level. Oh, no doubt about it. But F-Type drivers, typically, they're looking for the speed, right? Absolutely, and we're pretty sure this delivers anywhere from 300 horsepower up to 575 you can get anywhere you need to go as quick as you want good gravy no kidding what's really interesting just with you know progressive technology is with the software your customers won't even have to go into a dealership to get attended to, right? No, not at all. We've, we've updated all the electronics and software. Everything can go over the air now, similar to what you have on your smartphone. That's just absolutely amazing. Well, Rob, thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate your time here today. Thank you. There's more ahead. Stay with us. Coming up, a classic American muscle car rolls out an all-electric model. Then see how one luxury automaker is letting owners bypass the maintenance shop altogether. And see how some auto show guests are going home with a furry new friend. It's all still to come on ABC7 presents the Chicago Auto Show. Experience the Chicago Auto Show for yourself. Just buy your tickets using the official Chicago Auto Show app and have your own virtual tour guide in the palm of your hand. Be sure to download it before you go. Mr. Pomani had called and said, look, I'm looking to open up another store. Would you guys be interested in being a partner and you guys would run that store? Since the Guido brothers opened up the doors of Arlington Heights Ford back in 1984, the formula behind this family-run business is one that works. And we really never, ever, ever had an argument. I saw some of the great things that my, my dad was able to accomplish, my uncle was able to accomplish, and I thought that it was only going to go the right direction, and I was excited about getting in it. Not long after that launch, two generations of Guidos were growing the business, and grow it has. When John Sr. and Tony began here, they were selling about 100 cars a year. And now we're over 200, 250 vehicles a month, which puts us in the top 10 Ford dealers in the Chicago market. They're there for you. They just take the time to, to sit and talk to you and, and make sure that you're satisfied. We're fortunate to win the President's Award for Ford Motor Company for 30 consecutive years. The only dealership in the country to ever say they can do that of any manufacturer. Achieving that elite milestone was cause for celebration recently. The family held a banquet for their dedicated Arlington Heights Ford team. Another key to their success is reaching out to their community. We're able to give back. I mean, that's what makes coming to work every day so special. This dealership has raised more than $25,000 with the annual USO Summer Barbecue and has helped raise $60,000 for several nearby high schools. We go to local schools and for every test drive that they take, $20 is donated up to $5,000. Along with giving back, this family gets real satisfaction helping people become car owners. The smile on their faces with their new car makes you feel pretty good. You're helping people and helping their families. Yeah. 
So it's quite unique for Hyundai where we've incorporated a really efficient solar panel onto the roof of the vehicle that's going to boost your mileage. It's going to give you a certain amount of extra free range every day, which accumulates per year. And that's in a vehicle that's also got some other really interesting features, such as our digital key, where your phone will give you access to the car. You can share that key with friends and family. And it's all in a package that is, as you say, quite unique. Awesome. Going green, solar. What about the mileage? How many extra miles can you get? So the combination of these technologies allowed us to boost the mileage by 24%. So you're at 54 miles per gallon. And from sitting in the sun for around about six hours a day, you're going to get three miles free per day, which means about 800 miles free per year. That's amazing and an awesome start, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Thank you so much, Luke. Hyundai is also making news with an innovative program that simplifies the buying process because automakers know convenience is key for shoppers. You just book the test drive through the Hyundai app or online and take it for a spin on your own time. You have three days to exchange it at the dealership or simply stop in to buy. Taking a lot of the hassle out of the process and, and just making it convenient for you. Another powerful tool that keeps potential car buyers on the cutting edge is a Saturday morning radio show on WLS AM called Drive Chicago. And when it's time to browse for new wheels, there's a companion website that puts all that information right at your fingertips. At Drive Chicago, we've kind of brought a ton of information all to one website. We've got reviews on all the latest cars that are coming out. All of our dealers' inventories are out there. Lincoln is shaking up things when it comes to servicing your vehicle. Lincoln's new pickup and delivery program means their clients don't have to head back to the store for simple maintenance. When you purchase a car, the pickup and delivery is part of the four-year, 50,000-mile warranty. Anything from maintenance or basic warranty needs, customer calls, we will set up a time that's convenient for them. I can just get out and do whatever I want to do and not have to sit in the service room waiting for my car to be done. Warner Tillman has driven Lincolns for decades, but this new program is a game changer for him. He uses it every time his car needs to be serviced. Now, routine oil changes are a breeze. They'll come and pick my car up, leave me a loaner, take my car, get it serviced, bring it back, and it just makes it so easy. Huge convenience factor. Hypothetically, they could never see the dealership again. Warner's never without a set of wheels, and in a couple of hours, his freshly maintained and polished vehicle is dropped off right in his driveway. The convenience of it is wonderful. I love it. Thanks, Cheryl. For more than 50 years, the Ford Mustang has ruled the road as the classic American sports car. Now they're breaking out of that mold and adding on to the Pony brand with an all-electric Mustang Mach-E. Joining me now to talk about this groundbreaking crossover is Dave Parasek of Ford. And Dave, I got to tell you something. This is a pretty revolutionary vehicle. Oh, it sure is. We have not touched the Mustang brand for over 55 years, and now we're doing it in a big way. All-electric, four-door SUV. Okay, let's talk about the battery first. How far can it go? Well, this is going to have a 300-mile range, mm -hmm. and we feel that that's where customers feel very comfortable about that. Uh, so you've got, you know, hey, that's 300 miles. You can go 300 miles on the charge. What about the speed, like 0 to 60? 3.5 seconds on our, on our GT model. Wow, that's quick. So what's the touring distance of this car? You talked about it being 300 miles. Yeah. You ha how long does it take to charge it up? Well, you know, if you're using a 240-volt charger, about 8 to 9 hours, you can get a full charge from 0 all the way up to 100. Why was it important for Mustang to introduce this into the world of electronic vehicles. Well, we at Ford wanted to lean into electrification in a big way, and only Ford can bring the Mustang to life this way. 55 years, we want to celebrate at 55 more. This is a leaning into the future. Uh, we're adding a new pony to the stable. Outstanding, Dave. Thank you so much. Let's get Thank the keys you. and go for a ride. Let's do it. And let's toss it over to Val and Ryan. Hey, what, JR? We were looking at that vehicle, and that might be Val's new ride, but we're hanging out at the ABC so. 7 <laughs> booth. We've been meeting some fans, taking some pictures with people. It's really a family affair. Oh, it has been a lot of fun, but you know what? It's really a backdrop for a lot of other fun things that are happening here at the Chicago Auto Show. Yeah, last year, this was a huge hit, Friday Night Flights. It's an event that is every craft beer lover's dream. It returns for a second year, and for an added ticket price, gets, gets to browse vehicles while they sample beers from a dozen local breweries, and that happens on Valentine's Day. Oh, that sounds like fun for Valentine's Day. Well, listen, pet lovers, listen up. Subaru has brought back its adorable Adopt-A-Pet event. This is the first year lovable four-legged friends will be available for adoption every day of the show, right in the Subaru Loves Pets display. How 
cute is that? You get a car and a pup. Oh, man, that is tempting, Val. And uh, also, February uh, 16th, for all you runners out there, this is a first for the auto show. It is the Honda RPM Run. You actually get to lace up the shoes, run through the vehicles. It's a two-and-a-half-mile course, so you get some exercise while you're here, too. You know what? This is going to sound crazy, but that sounds right up my alley. <laughs> yeah, so you got, you got running, you got pets, and you got beer, and you got some of the latest and greatest beautiful cars. I think they got it all covered this I year. I know, and you mentioned Val. Valentine's Day. This might be a great date for Valentine's Day to come down to the Chicago Auto Show. Listen, we've got a little bit of time to talk to some folks. Come on up. Don't you want to be Who's not shy? Nobody. Who's not shy here? <laughs> All right. Oh, here oh, we go. Here Let's we talk go. to this little one. What's your name? Ashley. Ashley, are you here with your family? Yes. All right. And what are you looking at? Um, cars. <laughs> yeah. what's, what's your favorite car so far? Um, Jeeps, probably. The Jeeps? The Jeep. Did you yep. do the test track? Yeah, we did. Did you survive it? It was scary, yeah. right? <laughs> All right, we got to take a break. We got more from the 2020 Auto Show. Come right back. Suicide on the rise. Frightening realities for kids growing up these days. But thousands of teens just looking for acceptance and comfort are finding it at a true oasis in Orland Park. The place rose up and said, hey, we care about you and we love you and we're going to create this place that you can call your own and you can discover who you are. That special place is called the Bridge Teen Center. They can participate in an art program. They can do a culinary demo, a trades focus program program and our life skills workshop. They can just hang out and just be with their peers, meet new friends. I first started coming to the Bridge Teen Center on middle school when I was bullied. It was a great environment just for me to be myself. Now she has returned to help run the programs that help teens. In the decade it has been open, the center has attracted kids from 128 communities surrounding Orland Park. Over 8,000 different students we've served. Some of the operating expenses are covered with proceeds from the teen center's neighboring thrift shop. But businesses and community members have stepped up to keep the bridge's doors open. In fact, the center operates without any state or federal funding. Some of that loyal support has come from auto dealers. The community of car dealers is one that's been really integral for us. The Chicago Automobile Trade Association recently toured the unique facility and contributed to its mission. And Bettenhausen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram even offers quarterly vehicle maintenance classes for the young drivers at the center. Just basically now it's about cars because they're not taught that in school anymore, so and it's hard to fix cars nowadays. So it kind of gives you a really good sense of satisfaction knowing that you're teaching them something that they could maybe use for the rest of their lives. The bridge is a place for students not just to be, but to become. Seven's continuing coverage of the 2020 Chicago Auto Show. Another action-packed hour gone like that. Mark and Greco along with Jim Rose. And you know, we've shown you so much of the show and our entire ABC7 crew is still out on the floor. Let's check in with them one more time. We've scoped out some spectacular new vehicles tonight, haven't we, Cheryl? Exactly. No matter what new wheels you're in the market for, they're here, like the Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport. And the Jeep Gladiator is shaking up the truck world. You're definitely going to want to bring the family for all this fun. The cars are gorgeous, but I just love the rides. All right, time now for a huge shout-out to our ABC7 crew getting us around this fantastic facility to see all the wonderful cars and attractions. And joining us now is Tony Gatto, who's the chair of the show, Bill Haggerty, who's the co-chair of the show, and Dave Sloan, who's the general manager of the Chicago Auto Show. And gentlemen, once again, a spectacular show. Absolutely. Tony, you can spend the entire day here and really just lose track of time, right? Yeah, that's right. You know, Mark, with a million square feet, a thousand cars, you may need two days. And Dave, a lot of people are in the market for wheels at this time. Why is this the place? There is no better place on the planet to shop for a new vehicle. And Bill, you know, we're just getting started here, but the people who are watching at home, when can they come down? They can show up every day, starting at 10 o'clock from Sunday till next Monday. All right, that's our show. For Marchie and Greco and Roz and Val and Tracy and Cheryl and Ryan, I'm Jim Rose. Thanks for watching ABC7's presentation of the 2020 Chicago Auto Show from McCormick Place.
thousand years of culture in one performance. Shenyun, returning to Rosemont, University Park, and Chicago. On stage starting February 13th. Tickets at Shenyun.com slash Chicago.